Do you want a tour of the food on the Carnival Radiance? Are you curious about what your dining options might be? Here's a look at what's included and what's going to cost you extra. Coffee and hot tea are served all day, whereas lemonade and iced tea begin at lunch, and orange juice, apple juice, and tropical juices are served during breakfast. One option that you have for breakfast is on the Lido deck, where they serve breakfast buffet style. The omelet station is also on the Lido deck and is a great option for anyone who wants a fresh made omelet or just want their eggs made to their liking. If you're not interested in the options at the buffet, then the dining room is also open for breakfast and also included. Guy's Burger Joint is a known staple for most Carnival cruise ships and is open for lunch and is going to be one of the first options that you see when you head to the Lido deck. I paired my burger with the fries from Shaq's Big Chicken. On your way back, make sure you stop and see how you measure up next to Shaq. Shaq's Big Chicken is open for breakfast, late breakfast, and lunch. Most people are excited about the chicken sandwich, but I'm a chicken tenders girl, so that's what drew me in. Right behind Shaq's Big Chicken is their condiment bar. I tried the chicken tenders. Of course I had some more french fries and I tried the potato salad as well as the jalapeno coleslaw. It was amazing. Your next option for lunch choices would be the deli, which you can also find on the Lido deck. The Blue Iguana Cantina is a staple on most Carnival cruises as well, and they are also open for breakfast. They serve burritos, tacos, and you can request a taco salad. And as you can see, they make their tortillas fresh. And right behind them is where you'll find their salsa and toppings bar. The pizzeria is open 24 hours at the back of the Lido deck, so this is always an option. Guy's Pig and Anchor is open for lunch. The Cucina del Capitano, I hope I said that right, is open for lunch and it is included. Here's a look at the menu. However, it is an extra cost to be able to have dinner here.
There are so many choices for lunch on the Carnival Radiance, but don't forget the buffet is still open as an option. The Seafood Shack is also a great option for lunch, however, it is not included. For $5, I tried the clam chowder in a bread bowl and it was okay, but I definitely made sure to go back for some of those fries from Big Chicken. Fonte Sushi is on most Carnival cruise ships as well, however, it is not included. I saw this tea party being offered as a part of the itinerary for the day, and although it wasn't included, all we had to do was pay for a tea bag, which was about $2, and then we had access to all these amazing, yummy treats. It was a great experience, and I can't wait to do it again. Because I selected your time dining, my dining room was sunset, and this is where I chose to have dinner most nights. One of the perks of dining in the dining room is you get a show. And if you don't feel like heading to the restaurant to be wined and dined, the buffet is still an option and open for dinner. On this night, I decided to take myself on a date to the Fahrenheit 555 restaurant. Although this restaurant is not included, I highly recommend it. For just $38 per person, you'll receive a four course meal in this upscale restaurant. It was such an incredible dining experience. Here's a peek at the menu, so feel free to pause the video and check out some of their options.
This was actually one of the dessert options called Art for the Table, but because I was cruising alone, I did not want something that big for myself. So these nice people next to me let me join their table and join in in the experience. On this cruise, they had a chocolate extravaganza, so make sure you check your itineraries because they'll be mentioned there, and it's usually around lunchtime when you can find it. This was also on the Lido deck. If you're still hungry and not in the mood for pizza, around 10 o'clock is when they open up the late night snack buffet. So make sure you head up and check it out. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the upcoming videos.